What's up, Visco fans? Welcome back to Trash Star. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and this is the special championship edition. We are here sitting with the 2022 IBL champion, Elijah Foster and Brayshawn Griffin. What's up, champion? How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds good. Like gold, baby. <laughs> Sounds like gold. Overdue. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I was a little bit worried when Bam did that. He hit the greedy. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Bam about to jinx this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Good energy, man. Good energy always translates. I know, but hey, first of all, thank you so much, though, guys, for being here. Man, I really appreciate you guys shouting my show after the championship. Like, that means the world for me, man, that you want to be on my show. And yeah, we well, just want to say thank you. Get that off. Offered by congratulations once again for winning the championship. And Eli will have all the tough questions tonight. <laughs> In this <laughs> I know you guys both have a lot of proof, a lot to prove in this league, especially Eli this year. Um, Eli did not get nominated as MVP, but man, how much sweeter though is it to win the championship after that happened? Man, that was just fuel to the fire, man. Like at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we just had one goal, and like that was like the championship. You know, all the extra stuff. That's mm -hmm. you know, like that feels good. You know that. That uh, that looks good on like my re resume, mm -hmm. but like that championship, that's the highlight. That's the only thing that matters. Yeah, man, championship, man, cures everything. Mm -hmm. And bam, you came a long way. 2017, oh, man, this is like like your dad say the real definition of starting from the bottom. Now you're here, <laughs> yeah, from NSH, yeah, Prawira, and then now this year SM plus finals MVP. Man, how much do you appreciate this championship though after going? through the ups and downs in the IBL. Man, as you just asked me that question, I got chills, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be up here and be cliche and, you know, so stereotypical, but, dog, I, I'm going to keep saying it. Words can express rock, you know. Um, I was telling my father, not even the journey of my, you know, basketball life or career, just my Indonesian journey itself, starting from NSH, mm -hmm. then going to Prawida, and then coming back to go to SM. And, you know, we were so close in Prawida making the playoffs. Um, then at that time, they did, you know, Division Meta and Division Puti. And they only took, it was five teams, well, ten teams in the league, five on each side. So they only took the top three from each. And Pacific had made the playoffs that year, but we had a better record on our, in our side on our division. So we made the playoffs record-wise, but due to the division, uh, you know, uh, separation, we couldn't make it. And this year they had known that, you know, it was just the best record in the league, the best eight. Make the So to get to the playoffs this year and then get to the championship and win it, <laughs> boy, I just needed the opportunity, man. I feel happy though. You know, I met you, we talked before you came here as well. So I'm just, man, I'm very happy. Like I'm, I'm relieved, you know, as a friend as well, sure. that you could able to, uh, you'll be able to win the championship. But Eli, second tough questions. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> This is what the people want to know. Okay. You know, we saw it in the bench, you know, a little screaming, just like Jimmy Butler, right? <laughs> With the Miami hit between you and Afan. But that, that moment during game one was so heated. I think a lot of emotions as well. But how did that moment help you guys stay together and win game one, though? And what happened? <laughs> so what happened, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see on, like, a video, it was a, mm -hmm. it was a close game at, at like that point, you know, like mm -hmm. the... Momentum was shifting slowly towards the PJ side. And, um, you know, we turned over the ball. And it was like a timeout. And, you know, I'm just trying to talk to, like, my player, just trying to get back on, like, the right track, you know. And um, emotions are high, you know. Uh, as a player, you know, uh, you really don't want to make mistakes, especially on, like, that highest level, you know. So you're already beating, like, yourself up. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, um, Timeout comes, and I'm just trying to talk to him, you know, just trying to get back on, like, the same page. And, you know, long story short, you know, uh, we just kind of, like, agreed and then disagreed on some things. Mm -hmm. But, like, people might take that, like, the wrong way. But, like, not every everybody's going to, like, agree and, and, like, you know, just on everything. Like, me and Bam, like, we bump heads. I mean, like, we fight, like, we argue every day in uh, practice, but it's just out of love, you know? It's just about just a, like a passion because we love the game. And like Avon, 
he is like us. Like, he mm-hmm. loves the game of basketball. Like, whenever we come into his room, he's watching highlights. He's, okay. you know, getting better, studying like the greats, you know. Um, so, at that time out, you know, we just, emotions are high. We just, you know, trying to release our frustration because, like, the energy is shifting. And, you know, just get on, like, the same page. Get back on, like, the game plan. Mm-hmm. And he scream at me. I scream at him. <laughs> <laughs> coach, coach, coach is like Yo, Yo Bell is such a good coach. He didn't say nothing. Like he just let us have our moment. He said, "Are you good? Are you good? Okay, that's it. Like that's all it was. Like, but then to like the media and to like the fans, they might see that as a little bit more. But at the end, brothers are going to yes. battle. Brothers are going to fight. Like I know for sure that I can go to war with like A- Avon. He will have my back. Like you know, like and and that's from one to twelve. Sure. Like. So that's all that was. Nothing, nothing extra. Nothing. But I say after that moment, just your focus was like back again. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. So I mean, it, we still got a goal at hand. Yeah. Like we still got a task to complete, and like that's not going to steer us off the track. That's just us like proving that we are so serious about this game. Like we are so locked in. That's all that was. That's just us locked in and in tune with each other, and that's like honestly. People look at it as like a negative, but that should just prove how like how like uh close we are and how much of like a brotherhood like SM is. Like like that we can fight, argue, or whatever like the people want to call it. In uh-huh. a finals game. In a finals game. <laughs> yeah. And not let it destroy us. Not let us like destroy us and and just get back on the court and win the game. That's amazing though. Yeah, I think just shows how the character of you guys as well, you know, just you guys have one goal, one vision, and that's the championship. And now let's go back to Bam. Your dad is here, flew all the way from Korea, <laughs> and he got his Spike Lee on though. First game he got his New York Knicks hat, and then second game he got his Lakers mask. So is he a Lakers fan or is he a Knicks fan? Man, that's that's a question you had to ask him, man. I know. To be honest, he's none. He's a Brooklyn fan. He's, oh. he's from Brooklyn. He's a Brooklyn fan, so that's what's really crazy about it. But you can never go wrong. As bad as the Lakers might be or Knicks might be, you can never go wrong. Uh, uh, sporting their uh, paraphernalia, so. But hey, after that buzzer went off, you ran to him, crying, and very emotional moment, um, special moment. Just would like to know, you know, what were you guys saying during that hug, man? During that long hug. Uh, I won't say nothing. <laughs> I, I, I was too busy crying like a little baby. But uh, he was just telling me that he proud of me, that he loved me. You know, just kept repeating that. He was telling me that I, I played my tail off. He was telling me he was like. That's the way, he, you know, he know I can play. That's the way he know I can lead. And, uh, you know, just kept repeating that he was proud of me and that he loved me. So just a, an embraceful moment, you know, and yeah, man. But how special it is, though, you know, to have your dad out here, man. It's if God forbid, but if I was to to die tonight, I'd die a happy man. You know what I mean? Because for a situation like that to happen, that's that's those are things that I don't know about nobody else, but. You know, not to be all super sentimental, but going to bed at night in college, I mean, in high school and in college, I used to pray in high school, like, man, I want to, you know, make it to Division One, Division Two, play college, and I want my family to come see me. Those were my prayers at night. And then I would get to college, and, you know, I had aspirations of playing professional. Man, if I get the professional uh, situation, I want my family to be able to come see me play. And, you know, God took that and, and times it times infinity by bringing him to a finals and then us winning it, and then me being able to win MVP, like, bro, you can't, you can't write a better story than that, bro. Like, and you can't write a better story than that, bro. Like, man, you can't. I, it's almost, it's almost like fictional, bro. Like, even my wife, when he, she watched that video, she, like, she got chills as well. You know, it's just so special that moment. You know, especially like, we, I come from a small town in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, man, and my dad has his hand in most of the players that come out of Fayetteville. Um, uh, I say one guy right now that's still playing overseas, Anthony Hilliard. He's a veteran. Um, went to the same college as me. My cousin played in the NBA, Eric Maynard. Um, my brother went Division One at Iona. Uh, my cousin Travis went out to Texas and played Division One basketball. A lot of people played Division One and Division Two. He's more. He's like a. He's the Danny Kosasi of Fayetteville. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm super serious. He's the Danny Kosasi of Fayetteville, bro. Okay, the Godfather. He walks in the gyms and it's respect off gate. So, for me to be the little runt, you know what I mean? I'm the little runt running behind everybody. 
to grow up and everybody look at me like, bro, you didn't did things that we would never imagine you being able to do, Bam. You know what I mean? You had it there. It's in your blood. But for you to do what you're doing, overcome all the obstacles you came, it's crazy, bro. That's an amazing story, man. And now we go back to Eli. Eli, people always say like, oh, it's boring. SM is too good. They always win the championship. But people don't know how much work and how much hour you guys put in. Uh, just your thought on that and what is so special about this group? Uh, you know, people can say, like, what they want, man. But, like, at the end of the day, they're not there. They don't know, like, about them countless hours in, like, the gym or just uh, not even in, like, the gym, but just bonding, like, bonding over, like, a card games or, like, Monopoly or, you know, or just little things like that, you know, or, like, competing in, like, a half-court shot or just, like, basketball is so much more than just on the court, you know, like, you have to build the relationships off the court as well, you know, just to know people's tendencies and just, like, just to get to know, like, your brothers, you know, on and off the court. And for, like, a special group like like SM, like, I played for a lot of great teams in my career, you know, from high school, going 3P, going to, like, the Sweet 16 um, in college. But SM is a special group, man. Like, from, like, the management down to – you know like the you know like the, yeah. you know like the 40 men players to yeah. everybody like it's just about like we sm has a winning mentality for sure and without that i don't think you have nothing like you like you won't have like a special group like you won't have a special team if like if like somebody is off course or somebody don't think that we are going to win or somebody doesn't have the same goal is like to to win even from like like our massage therapists yeah. you know it's literally Champion, champion, yeah. like, you know, Toy. all the time, crazy. like toying crazy guy, you know, <laughs> but it's like from the head to, the, you know, everybody just like so boring when it's boring. I know. I don't, when I don't. it's boring to you, to you, <laughs> boring to me, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know about yeah. y'all, but when it's not boring, yeah. when it's boring, losing, yeah. all the time. losing. <laughs> That's what's boring. so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. They like they can say what they want, man. But SM is a great organization. I've been blessed to be with them for two years now, it, like one and a half, whatever you guys want to call it, <laughs> you know. But uh, 20, 2019, 2020, or yeah, and then this season as well. So yeah, it, it takes a lot though to be SM. You know, it's not easy. Like you know, I know pressures also comes yeah. with it playing yeah. for sm expectation is always Boy, championship yeah. you know it's championship or bust so actually it's not that easy to win a championship right no nah, no it's not it's not uh you you know i know for me i played terrible the first series mm -hmm. i'm like yo if we lose ain't nobody in indonesia ever gonna even look my way again there's no way you get blessed with an opportunity like sm and you don't propel them to victory you know then you get to the semifinals you're like okay a step closer mm -hmm. but if you lose that one you still getting talked about you know what i mean then if you get to the finals okay you got there but you didn't complete the tags you still gonna get so i'd rather you talk about me and be a winner than you want to be my friend because i'm a loser you i'd rather you hate me because i'm a winner and then whether versus you loving me because i'm a loser can i say something about yeah. sm do you, do you know what makes us so special it's like we don't have like a group of like a core group of three people or four or like not even four. Mm -hmm. Like at, like if you watch every game, like all, all of our six game in the playoffs, we have had a different person uh, step up. And that's what makes us so dangerous. And like the crazy part about it is like our core or is not is kind of is like uh, like the people that stepped up. They're kind of young. Yeah. Like they're coming back like good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Like when Hardy got hurt, like the first uh, uh, oh, Erga, he's talking wait, about Erga. Erga, sorry, Erga. people. Uh, <laughs> like, but good? but uh, we call him good, man. Like, That's our yeah. guy. That's especially like his, like he, Bam, like when he got here in what month was that? March. March. Got it. March. He changed the culture. He changed like he took players under his wing. He like was interacting with everybody, like just you know, and then he he is a workaholic. He's in the gym extra to like the point where. He was here, and I'm trying to follow his lead, right? <laughs> Before practice, well, working out, practice, and then after practice, to at the point where I had a coach like, yo, re relax. Cause I started getting <laughs> dehydrated, yeah. can't, uh, cramping, and like, I can't do what, what he do. I'm making people want to play one-on-one. -on -one. Like, <laughs> I had to make, a, I made a Vaughn play one-on-one. -on -one. I made Gut play one-on-one. -on -one. I made Jacob play one-on-one. -on -one. It was to the point where it was so much, 
Gut ended up getting hurt. Oh, yeah. Avon got hurt. And it was little, like little injuries. Oh, yeah. uh, Eli, like just like fatiguing. So after practice, I'm like, Avon, play Coach Bell, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good, though. That's like great. Eli man mentioning this, like, I know you didn't go home. Four months, you were in Indonesia. Like, I would like to know why did you decide to stay in Indonesia now? Right <laughs> for that reason right there. I knew we had... For this reason. For, for this reason. <laughs> yeah. for, for, that, for that reason. <laughs> I knew we had something special. And it's like, I'm not here to... I'm not here for just uh, my salary. You know what I mean? I'm not here to just, okay, I play, collect my paycheck or whatever. Nah, bro. Like, I'm here to, to, to be influential. You know what I mean? And, and for me, I always wanted to be kind of not gonna say what I didn't have but I wanted to be like like just it for me my life and I think my my um purpose in life is the knowledge that I get to give you know what I mean because you you can you can give a man a fish he can eat for a day but if you teach a man how to fish eat for a lifetime right so if I could just give knowledge give knowledge give knowledge knowledge is free you know what I mean? And people say knowledge is power. No, the the use of knowledge is power because you can have all the knowledge in the world, but not share it with nobody. Mm -hmm. Is is you know, it's not useful. You know what I mean? So, um, I didn't want to go home because I wanted to be in the gym with Gut every day, even though Kelvin was with the national team and then had to go with UPH in Japan. I was texting Kelvin all the time, like, wow. as soon as you get time, come back. As soon as you get time, come back. I was religiously trying to find this chemistry with with Lau, and it was. It was up and down. It was up and down a little bit. But the finals, you would not be able to tell. You would think me and Lyle was attached at the hip. You know what I mean? Um, me and Yvonne, I had chemistry with Yvonne since Madon. And I wanted to speak on that a little bit. I'll never forget when you posted the... Um, the not, not, <laughs> I ain't even going to speak on that. But I remember you posted my highlights from uh, playing with SM and Madon. You had wrote to a... Uh, Somebody that commented, you was like, Bam is looking for it, like he's playing for a job. I, I don't forget, I don't forget nothing, bro. And it's crazy that, you know, coming back to fruition, now I'm here and, you know, I still got the same drive, I still got the same hunger. Um, but yeah, I didn't leave because I wanted to be influential. I wanted to get closer to Coach O'Bell. I wanted to get closer to my coaches, to my teammates, to the staff, you know, just this family core because basketball on the court starts with off the court. And Eli, you and Bam, you guys always talk to each other. You whisper things a lot on on the court during the finals. And you are a star. He's a star. And it's a lot of egos between you guys. Like, talk about the relationship you have with Bam and how did you guys make it work? <laughs> so, Bam and I on the court is kind of like... First of all, off the court or like Tom and Jerry? <laughs> okay. Like, explain that. <laughs> ben, explain it just a little bit. It, it's hard to like explain. I mean, would we wouldn't like each other, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about we stay in the in the, the same room in the hotel on trips and, you know, versus he, and this dude is a vampire, bro. I like the sunlight, but it, leave it to him. He had a curtains closed. If, if we had a day off and it was like this in a bubble, if we had a day off, he wants to sleep the whole day with the curtains closed. Don't open them up. It's to the point where, like, man, I don't even want to be bothered with dude. I'm going to just leave the room, <laughs> go downstairs, sit in the lobby. I need sunlight, bro. Yeah. I thrive in sunlight. But this dude here, man, I mean, we we got a lot of similarities, but of we got a lot of, you know, opposites as well. But that's what makes you special as individuals because you're not going to, you know, be the same in every aspect. But talking about in practice, we bet. In practices? We bet. Every practice, Every like his five you, versus his uh, ver my versus unit. my five, to the point where there was a time where I lost like a week straight. And, wow! Like you know, what was your squad? <laughs> we ain't gonna. We ain't gonna he doesn't matter. We would mix it up. But we would uh, mix it up though, for real, bro. Uh, I gotta give Avon this. He would complain. He wanted Avon so I'm bad, bro. Avon. He, he wanted Avon so bad. So bad. Yeah, this is when the national players were uh, oh, yeah. gone too. You know, uh -huh. so it's just like the uh, like the practice people that were helping us. You know, the like the yeah. young guns. But then also, but like that's what makes us so special. Like our will to win, practice. Uh, it doesn't matter to the point where, like, Uno, Uno Monopoly, like, our will to win is so special. I don't, like, that's something that it's not too, like, the public, you know, because that's behind closed doors. This is, like, a sneak, you know, this is, like, a little preview. But, like, it's to the point where I would lose, right? Mm -hmm. 
I will lose two, three days in like a row. I'm buying burgers. I'm buying I'm buying full course meals. Like I'm buying French toast. I'm buying oh, double shit. smash burgers. I'm buying <laughs> salad wraps. Vice versa too, though. Okay. Vice versa. Had, one week I had to pay for a burger who, every day. Who's sp- who? Who got to pay more though? You or Bam? I think it was. Pro- I think I think <laughs> I I paid more. It, yeah, it probably tore. Yeah. But then, like, let me speak on this though. Uh, so. It's not like about the money though. It's mm-hmm. not about the money. It's not about like the the betting or mm-hmm. anything like that. It's just about our will to win, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's like it's so deeper than us mm-hmm. that like I would that I would lose to him like the next day. Yo, we gotta step this up. I'm tired of buying this dude burgers. <laughs> like, you gotta step it up. You gotta step it up. But it's not coming from like a negative uh, aspect or like it's just like let's be great. Yeah. Like let's win at everything. I don't care if it's a defensive stop. I don't care if it's First one down to the other rim, like, and that's what's crazy. A lot of the times we did five on five. Coach O'Bell does this thing where the first to five stops. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we not. It's not even about. We wanted to score just to get on defense. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't, we don't even want to play <laughs> offense. If you on offense, that means you, you losing. You losing. <laughs> we want to score, get on defense to get the stops. You know what I mean? So it didn't even matter. It wasn't even like an offensive thing. The secret guys to be a good defensive team. <laughs> like the secret is though is to have players. That want to win and that's willing to push other people like around them mm-hmm. to be great or to have like the same mentality or mindset as them. Like we haven't lost like SM. We haven't lost a game since, <laughs> since in the Patriots. Since like <laughs> yeah. the Patriots, we didn't lose a no, single we scrimmage. Lost. Like we haven't lost since what March or what? Yeah, I think so. like, March. I want to say it was March tenth. We lost March like, March Ooh. March tenth. We haven't lost in a long time. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I didn't even realize that. But I know you guys went 6-0, though, in the yeah. playoff. 6-0 playoffs? Yeah, every scrimmage. Every the scrimmage. The only scrimmage we lost to was when we played the national team. National team, oh, okay. but, I mean, yeah, it's a national team. Yeah. <laughs> they got our players. Like. <laughs> wow. But I've been talking about you guys pushing the young guns. Uh, I want to talk to Bam about, you know, during the finals, of course, you know, Erga, like you said, step up. Um, I just want to know, like, how pr- I know. I think you got a special bond with Erga as well. Just you know, how proud are you of him, and what advice did you give him during the finals? What advantage? Not advice. Advice. Uh, I know I'm gonna shout out uh, Brom on this. Um, you know, Brom's slogan is a kid from Banca, yeah. but you know, Erga's from Banca as well. Yeah. And I like, and it's there's no disrespect to Brom. I'll say that to Erga sometimes, like. I'm like, yo, you a kid from Banca. He like, nah, that's Brahms thing. That lets me know right there. I'm my own man. I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna go get this how I wanna get it done. You know what I mean? I'm not following nobody's coattail. So, but talking about a pit bull mentally, He's I'm talking you could you could ask my father, like, I but I told my dad prior to practice, I'm like, watch. Because Hardy wasn't back yet. I'm like, watch when we uh match up five on five, he's looking at me like, nah, I got banned. And he picking me up full court every time. You feel me? He don't back down. And he's trying to make plays on me. You know what I mean? So, but the advice that I gave him was that, um, especially during the finals, I said, I said, bro, you from Banca, right? He said, yeah, bro. I said, you started in Satu China, right? He said, yeah, bro. I said, you with SM now, right? He said, yeah, bro. So what you tripping off of? What you nervous? The hard part, the hard part is over with. It's the easy part now. The hard part is coming up. You here. And you didn't you didn't you should trust yourself because you didn't did everything you needed to do to get to this point. Why not live in that energy? I know what I know what I didn't did, and I'm comfortable and confident in everything I didn't did to get to this point. So I'm gonna continue to do that. Through mistakes, through through success, I'm gonna continue to do what I do and what I know how to do because I didn't been doing it. You get what I'm saying? So that's really the only advice I gave him um, prior to the finals. Uh, but what about you, Eli? Like, I don't know who you close with as a local player, but when you see like Lauren uh, Oi, mm-hmm. and then of course uh, Rizal Ajali, mm-hmm. you know, stepping up. Like, what what do you think about them? You know, what or no? Maybe the best, the better question is who surprised you the most during the finals? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a tough one to say, yeah. but at the end, of, uh, it's kind of like nobody really surprised me though, because okay. they all have that in them. Like, they all have showed that during practice and different scrimmages and different, like, occasions. But it was just a matter of when and who. Mm -hmm. That's what, like I said, that's what makes us dangerous. Because you don't know who's going to go off. Like, the final game, I went 0 for 5. You know? Like, and then 
that's huge. I mean, I mean, that's huge that other people can still step up and we still win by 15. Like, so, but overall, I would say, like, Anthony. And then Lau, like, Lau and Ben, they've been working on that bond since they got here. And Jolly, he's literally a person that can blend in with any with anybody. Like he can blend in with the first unit, second unit, a special unit. It it doesn't matter. <laughs> like he just a hooper. Sure. Like yeah, we're special. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, man, uh, I saw you. I had a. I mean, we have to give credit to Plita Jaya as well. Um, we got a lot of good young players and i saw you had a little conversation with yesaya on the court during game two uh what were you guys talking about and what do you think about his potential oh that's that's the little homie too man uh i love yesaya's game um i like yesaya too because he ain't scared and i gotta give yesaya this when we had paid we played the Patriots the first time i don't think he played i think he was um injured but the second time we played him i tried to reach the ball i tried to steal the ball one time And as he's dribbling, I reach and he like get back, he get by me, and he look at me like, Ooh. I'm like, oh, the confidence in you is crazy, <laughs> little boy. Like, you feel me? But you know, um, and then he's playing like it, that. yeah, <laughs> to play against him in the the selection thing, I had gave him some advice then too about just staying confident. And I, I told him like, yo, you're a you're a hooper, bro. Like, you you just have a great feel for the game. You know, you're not the best shooter, you're not the biggest guy. But you're the type of guy that can go off for, for 25, 30 if you, took, if you had the opportunity for the shots. You're the type of guy where he led the league in assists this year. You know, at how old is Josiah? What? I think he's 20. 20. 20. 20 21. And he, grown men in the league, he led the league in assists. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think the kid is, is going to be special. I think the battles to come between him and Erga mm. are going to be tough, bruh. But um, what I was just telling him during the game, um, The first game, I, I didn't really say nothing to yeah. him because it's still. But uh, the second game towards the end, I just was like, keep your head. You know, of course, um, he had made like two good passes. I was like, great pass. But, you know, I just tapped him on the hip because I didn't want to give him too much confidence because we still got to go out here and play. Um, and then at the end of the game, I had sent him a message on Instagram and just was telling him, like, keep your head, little bro. Like, you're going to be special. You know what I mean? Just just reiterating the same things, just repeating the same things to him because people need that reassurance sometimes. That's really cool, man. I think, oh, yeah, I love Yesaya, man. That's like my little brother, man. So that's why I'm so happy, like, you talk to him, you know, give him some advice. And Eli, are you underrated? Or are you under the radar? <laughs> like, I just realized that you just told me before this interview that you didn't even make the All-Star team. That is that is crazy. I don't even know that. Like, underrated? Yeah, do you feel like you're underrated or what, man? Because I mean, obviously, I, I, I've been pretty vocal about it like you average a double double during regular season there's no way that no nope. yeah under 20, 20 minutes. minutes yeah people gotta notice about that so do you feel like you underappreciate it or you underrated it i feel like <laughs> this is my moment right yeah this is your uh, moment <laughs> your moment to shine <laughs> i've been waiting like i've been waiting a long time for this moment rocky <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm underrated and under the uh, radar. I personally feel like I am the best le uh, best big in this league. Say that twice. Like, in this league, period. Hands down. Um, I don't think I, nobody coming close if you ask me. Yeah, like, truthfully. I right. think it go one, two is just an empty space, and then you could start at three and go down. <laughs> But, like, I don't think people understand how hard it is to be as consistent as I was mm -hmm. to average – was it 17.8 uh 12 rebounds shoot 62 you 60 had like, had you, i think you had a 20 rebound game right 25 25 25 rebound game do, do the people understand how hard that is like and then to shoot 63 from like the field goal and then to not only do that cause it's okay to put up numbers and then not actually winning but put up numbers and my team is second place for majority of the season And you know we lost, we lost three games, right? But you know, no knock to anybody out there. But like the person that won, like the MVP, was able to play 40 minutes. R is a great player, right? Uh, and then, uh, like I said before, uh, 
in the states, like on paper, shouldn't have even made it to like the playoffs, right? Yes. Like, would you like I, agree? I agree. I told sure. Coach Tony like, yeah. I, like I, I oh, told him, like you know, I mean, he's I, an amazing I, I coach. He's an amazing he's coach for player. bringing that group to like the playoffs. Oh my gosh, that hats off, you know. And, and to have an import guard who is under six foot, yeah. and wow, that's yeah. So amazing. no to Shavar, like all hats off to him, but. If you factor in the 40 minutes versus 19 minutes and average and like just like compare the stats, come on, man. There's no way that I shouldn't have been nominated. A nominated like a like a just like a just like a nominee for like the best, right? Uh, and even from all like the imports, it was it should have been me or him that actually got it, right? That's what I thought. Me or him. No thought, questions yeah. asked. There's me, no questions. And then, yeah. and then like 100%. but then like two, them only two. Yeah. But then like if I but if I lost to him, well, like, you know, because NSA is not even supposed to be here. Yes. But then you see when Glover came, minutes go in half. Yeah. I still stayed the same. Like, right? I still stayed the same the whole time. Like, my first, yeah, first playoff game, game was 32 31. and 30, uh, 31 and what, 12 or, 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 or something like that. Yeah. You know, like, it's hard to play 20 minutes, man. So I should have been all star. I should have been nominee, if not the best form player. But. With all of that being said, man, that's just fuel to the fire for next year, right? The 2019-2020 season getting cut short, that was my fuel feel for this year. Yeah, sure. So next year, I have not being like an all-star, not being like a nominee, that's my feel again. But all those feels, I got these. Yeah. I got sure. these. So that's all right. Whatever. <laughs> so that means you're coming back? <laughs> for three <laughs> That's the day. That's, that's only right. I, it's only right I got to ask if you're talking about that. <laughs> man, it's whatever God wants, man. Okay. I'm just going to leave it to, like, the men, men above. And if there's a will, there is a way, man. So, but I would, I would actually love to be a part of SM again. Uh, SM is a, is a beautiful or, organization. And I would love to get a few more of these. Yeah, that would be nice. And bam. I feel like you, like I feel like Indonesia is your second home. You know, you've been here out for like five years. Well, I mean, four. in total since 2017, 2018 to 20, so yeah, four, four to five around so, that area. So how big of a chance, man, coming back and if you want to lift that trophy again next year? Uh, <laughs> I feel the same. I mean, if if there's a will, there's a, there's a way. You know, if if God allows me to be with SM again, I would love it. You know, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't, how can I say, like, it'd be a dream to be able to come back and play for this club again in this organization. Um, but if I was to go somewhere else, I'm going to go give my same energy, my same passion, my same drive uh, there as well. Um, I do expect to be back in the league. Um, and, yeah, man. Man, that's that's our interview. <laughs> the last question, a couple of the last questions, a little bit intense, but hey, I just want to show love though. Check out the shirts, guys. Check out the shirts though. Check out the shirts. Hey, hey those shirts are fire though. Hey, and they are sold out. DM, you know, sold out. We get more <laughs> orders in. If y'all want the shirts, fa- order, you know, man. fans and friends and family, just <laughs> DM and we'll That's put the order cool. in for you. For you. All right, last one. I'm just gonna give it to you guys. Anything else you want to say to the, everybody, man? Go ahead with you. You want me to go first? I just want to say, man, thank you guys that supported us th- th- throughout this whole season. Like, we wouldn't be here, like, without you, uh, without the fans, without the support. Uh, Rocky, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity. Appreciate uh, man, I've been looking forward to this since <laughs> since you came to like, the pro am and I gave yeah. you that jersey and stuff, yeah, man. Yeah, so, man, this really is well overdue. Too. I, wore, I wore it in Seattle, too. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's huge, man. Yeah. Look forward to like the future, man. For me, Rock, you know, our relationship is about four years now. Um, I'm gonna say it all the time. Rock hit me up as soon as I got drafted. Um, and I wanna say you had me send a video to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did like a little dunk. Yeah. I was in my I was in my I was in my gym, yeah. my high school gym. I did a little dunk, sent the video to him. So, you know, our relationship started there. And um for right for, for me to do trash talk with NSH the first time and then we did fast break yeah, we and then did we did timeout. Yeah. you know you know I, I know everything rocking <laughs> you know you was preaching to me you know about how hard it is to get you know the, the channel off the ground and yeah. you know getting the following of of the fans and the support but look where you at now 121 or 126 uh, 121, 121 and growing right <laughs> you came a long way in this journey I came a long way in this journey and we still got more room to grow um, and to the fans and all the supporters, 
I love y'all. I love y'all to the SM Fanatics. Y'all got my heart forever. Um, and, and yeah, man, you know, trash talk coming soon. We'll see. <laughs> but, hey, honestly, I, I, I want to say thank you to you guys, too. Like, my channel is nothing without the players, without the teams, without the management. Everybody helped me out, you know, to get to this point. So I'm, I always say I'm very lucky that I grew up in America. I grew up in the United States, so that's why we could get along. We could connect, you know. It helps with the interview, you know, everything. But, bam, shit, you lie. Bam, shit, man. I really appreciate you, man. You don't even know. How much it meant for me, you guys like saying like man, trash I, stuff. Probably, but you gave me, you gave me, you have given me probably the best video. I would like that's that's a generational video, Rob. Right, like, but to my to my little brother, to my kids, to their kid, that is a generational video, bro. So I, I gotta I gotta give you your love on that. Bro. Yeah, yo, I, I talked to your dad earlier, like. I'm very lucky to be at that moment. Like I was, I didn't even know that's gonna happen. You know, I was just standing there, and then you came to your dad. And just told him like, I'm just lucky. It's lucky. priceless. Yeah, it's priceless. And Eli, I didn't even know he was from Seattle. To be honest, like I met him at the pro am. Like, oh shit, is Eli here? You know, and then yeah, you know, I'm like everything works. For, I don't know, everything happens for a reason. For like, sure, right it now, does. For sure, it does. Like, Jamal is so nice to me, man, in Seattle, you know. Jamal is very welcoming. I could just walk in Sorry, through the... Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about to ask one question about Eli. Oh, I got to ask this first. Semifinals. During semifinals, they got LeBron. They got Jason Tatum. Oh. Hey, no, I'm going to say it, bro. He, 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 <laughs> he was like, I was like, man, he was like, man, if there was any way that he could leave, <laughs> go to the game, and then be back before the next game... If he, if there was a way, if their teleportation was <laughs> was was here, he would do it, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. One, one more. And you gotta see Nayshawn like giving hype after LeBron. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I need to hear it from you, like. That was a special moment for like the town, man. I just want to say uh, shout out to Maul. See, like my brother, man, like my mentor, like for just putting that on for like the uh, city, man. But I wish I would have been there. But my son who is still in Seattle, was able to meet LeBron, take a picture with LeBron, take a picture with Tatum, take a picture with uh, I Isaiah Thomas and pa Paolo. And Paolo yeah. So it's just like, I wasn't there, but a part of me was. So that's all that matters, man. But, but I mean, like to be honest, without Eli there, like people might not know me. Because I keep saying, like, oh, yeah, I got Eli. You know, Eli played in Indonesia. I keep telling everybody that in Seattle. So that's why I think... Mal and of course AK from Seattle uh, from the crossover they open up to me as well. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, basketball is a small world. Sure. It's a small world. You know, we we gotta help each other. You know, that's why, like, I'm blessed to know you. I'm blessed to know Bam. So before I get, before I cry, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for the interview. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's interview. And yeah, man, hey, all the best to you guys after this. Hopefully you guys are gonna come back to Indonesia next year. All the fans. Really want to see you guys again play with SM next year. So, man, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys again next video. Peace out, everybody.